World Cup market is live. Yes, guys, finally it's here. In our first video of the day, I will give you my thoughts on it. I will respond to the questions that you asked me on Twitter and in the community tab. And, and of course, we're gonna open this crazy, crazy pack you need. We're gonna get a 90 plus icon. But before that, let's go ahead and talk about the market. Now, I was a bit late with the party. I woke up like two, three hours ago and yeah, uh, unfortunately the market was already down. I still managed to sell. Let's look at the prices that I sold my pairs at. So yeah, Master Ali isn't selling at 9 milli. Hopefully I can sell him for 8.5. Uh, Sterling, Ignacevic, these are cars that 88 cars that unfortunately are not selling even at 1 milli, 1.2. However, Hazard 89 sold for 2.5. 88 Calgao 1.1 Torreira there the world stage player yes world stage players are auctionable 89 cards especially from non top countries guys so Torreira sold for 4 milli 90 rated Mustera isn't even out there so I'm pretty sure I can sell him for 10 milli plus that's what I'm planning to do next getting the 90 world stage Mustera yeah as you can see I have I have some pairs that are that are sold for quite a bit or at least that's what I think uh, 86 Salah for 1.5 pretty sure six seven hours ago when the market went live they were uh, they were selling for like two three milli even the guys that are selling for like 450k so yeah it is what it is I also sold a 79 card 78 77 lots of 7 76 I didn't try to sell the 75s but yeah I just don't think they are good value for XP what I mean by that is we have other cards, much, much cheaper cards, 79, 78 cards from Spain and from France. Those are the cards that you need to use as XP. The cards from other nations other than France and Spain, I would suggest you to sell them. I also made a buy, a pretty important buy. I managed to buy Cristiano Ronaldo, man of the match card for 20.8 million. Now the reason why I did this is because, because I probably built myself a Portugal team and because I can't see his card going lower than that at least in the for, at least in the next week so I'm thinking I'm gonna use him I'm not gonna trade him and I'm gonna sell him after so yeah guys let's go ahead and collect all of our uh, coins and see if we can get I think I suppose I can get uh, like 20 milli from all these cards maybe maybe a bit more maybe a bit less I'm not sure but yeah from 80 80 cards uh, I have no idea how much I can get probably around 20 milli so I had 34 yeah 65 so 21 milli there I still have some cards here so I should have 10 milli 12 13 14 I should have at least 20 more milli here plus the Ronaldo which is 20 more milli there I should be going again to 100 milli plus now regarding the tips for you guys when to buy when to sell so basically we have 34 35 more days before the event ends this means that the market should continue to go down campaigns will be completed cards will be packed cards will be listed on the market and yeah they should continue to go down by how much I don't know but one week from now prices will be cheaper so if you want to sell your car, I'd say sell them now, even if you didn't manage to sell them yet. Now before I start responding to the questions, let me give you just some another tip uh, in the final one. The best cards for XP guys, the best cards for XP are 79 cards below 40k. As you can see you have the, the Spain and the France cards. These are the best cards to get in order to train your players. The 79 cards below 40k and 78 cards below 30k these ones Paco Alcacer for um, attackers and uh, yeah all the other guys for goalkeepers defenders and midfielders they give you the best XP ratio so if you don't have XP and you want to upgrade your teams these are the cards that you need to use they are the cheapest and give the most XP possible now let's get into responding your questions somebody asked should I sell my players now or later as I said, you should sell your players now. Alonso asks, do you think prices will change in the future? If so, do we wait or buy now? Basically, it's the same question that I asked. When to sell, when to buy. It depends on what you want to do with your cards and what you want to do in the future. Prices will continue to drop. 
in the following days and weeks how much they will drop I'm not sure I think you should wait 24 48 hours to wait and see if the market gets more stable somebody else asks what do you think will there be a market a regular market crash because right now regular market is absolutely fine so I suppose you're talking about the in-game market I looked it up a bit and yep high rated cards looks like didn't drop just because they have that price cap elites are around 200k some of them even below 200k so I think we can see some price drops in there I don't know I think it should crash but probably it's not that big of a crash to see the difference yet somebody else asked is 1.5 million cheap for an 8a player from Spain it's hard to say it depends on the player it depends on the position I saw 8a players for less than 1 million I can sell some of them for 1 million so yeah it's hard for me to say somebody else asks okay so after completing tier 4 tier 3 and 4 of every nation should I sell those players or use them as training XP for my main team Spain have a great day I would sell all the players that aren't trained up and I was and as I said I would use as XP the 78 and 79 cars that I showed you in the video those from Spain and from France now this is a good question you are burning your 95 team to another team to do tier 5 I did this for four teams but every time it costs around 3 million coins net so how do you see doing tier 5 as profitable well it was a bit tricky up until this point but right now it's much much easier and the reason for that is because leaving aside the cards that we're getting and the bonus points and the world stage points leaving all of those aside we get a 92 master that master can be exchanged in the exchange HBC in the master player from my nation SBC. so after we're gonna exchange that 92 card here we're gonna get a tradable player a player that is selling at the moment for 8 million coins minimum so investing 3 million and getting minimum minimum 8 million coins obviously it's very very profitable and of course we're not gonna get only that we're gonna get other stuff as well so that's how you profit from doing tier 5 I suggest you guys do this as many times as possible matter of fact let me do it right now because as I said I want to build myself a Portugal team let me set as active my more Portugal team and let's get our guaranteed 90 plus master that I'm gonna sell guys I'm gonna sell just because I have other players that I can use as XP and I'm gonna buy much much cheaper one let's go 90 rated courage okay okay right me through the courage but that's a good card guys that's a very very good card let's try to sell him on the market so it looks like he's 9 mini right now I'm gonna try to sell him for 8.99999 and bam just like that we turn that IOB untradeable card into a 9 million coins card and I'm gonna do that for Akinfev, Kante, Modric and probably Sterling as well just because right now you just don't need them and with 5 tier 5 cards you get like 40 50 million just there so I strongly suggest you complete as many tier 5s as possible I'm gonna do that for sure and that's pretty much it considering the questions let's go ahead and get our guaranteed 90 plus icons player I'm at, the only card that I really want is uh, Pele 95 Pele but obviously I'm happy if I get whatever card that I don't already own so, okay 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 this is a card I don't have I'm happy with him I'm really 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 happy with him let's put him in guys let's woo, look at that card haha <laughs> what a crazy looking card let's check his stats up so he has 110 sprint speed 1 tough acceleration of course with the boots 111 dribbling eh, male long shot and sharp power but obviously if I upgrade him he's gonna do much better I might actually train him up guys I might actually train him up and that's pretty much it for the first video of the day in our second video we'll try to build our crazy crazy Portugal team if you have any other questions leave them in the comments down below share if you think my content is worthy until next time I'm out peace